on a serious note, let's uh let's uh review Dr. Rackpool's uh 182 overhead press. Alright, uh, that was pretty much a force rep. Uh, I mean, he tried he, he tried his hardest to get that up there. Uh, just goes to show how out of shape he is. I mean, this guy used to rep this kind of weight. Could have been one of the best. He could have been up there with the West Coast Wolverine. Could have been up there with me as being one of the best lifters on the overhead press in the community. But instead, he chose a life of alcoholism. You know, partying all night, laughing it up. Got a care in the world. Oh yeah, you're paying for it now. When you get under that bar, you're gonna be paying for it. You gonna be hurting. I guarantee Dr. Ragpool can't even overhead press 135 anymore for 15 reps. He used to do 18. I think he's done 18 before. Kind of sloppy, but he got 18. And uh, I'm gonna break that record. I'm gonna hit 20 by the end of the year. You can count on that. Now, uh, I mean, this was uh. <sighs> I mean, it, it is what it is. Uh, terrible for him. Terrible technique. Uh, didn't get his head to the hole completely. He got up to the top. I give him that. But uh, yeah, it's just you know, when you're trying too hard like this, you're just asking for an injury. And I guarantee, Doctor Rackpool's shoulder is going to be hurting for about the next two months because of this lift. You can tell. You can tell right off that the guy has no clue on how to train, and this is why. He continues to have shoulder problems. Ego lifting will cause shoulder problems. Get it? 